is Sherry Meyer. I am the lower school principal this year. It's so good to see you all. At this time, we're going to take a free will offering. Uh, we'll be passing some plates. There's also a QR code on the screen, and it's also printed in your programs. If you would like to give, this goes towards the music program, which you can see is wonderful. Uh, yesterday, we were treated to the K4 and K5 program. You're welcome to stay and see the later program, too. It's wonderful. And I just want to give a huge thank you to Mr. Griffiths and Mr. G. Let's give them a hand. <laughs> Mr. Gelati. Sorry, I call him Mr. G. Mr. Gelati. Sorry, Mr. Gelati. And I would also, I know we've already done this, but I'm going to give a shout out. <laughs> to all the teachers for their amazing hard work. Like Mr. Griffiths said, they work so hard. Let's give them a huge hand. Um, and AIDS as well, sorry I did not mention that. I also want to thank you all for your hard work at home with families because I know a lot of the memorization did happen at home. You probably could have recited along with us at this time. I'm guessing some of you were saying those. And alumni know the first recitation we've been saying for so long is really a beautiful tradition. Um, speaking of tradition, if the children go through the whole program from verse through fourth, they have actually um, in essence, memorize the entire Christmas story from the book of Luke, or based from the book of Luke. And that is something that's so special for them to know that story. Um, it's the story of Jesus' presence with us, Emmanuel, like we've been talking about. And it's the oldest and most beautiful story, as they said, um, that we were hopeless. They were waiting for the Messiah, they said, waiting for to be saved, and that's our story as well. All of us without Jesus were, were hopeless, but many of you might know the song Waymaker. He is our Waymaker, and he made a way through Jesus uh, coming to earth in the form of a baby, and in one translation of the Bible, in the message, it says he moved into the neighborhood. He came to us when we couldn't get to him, and he lived a perfect life, and then died on the cross, which is here so beautifully uh, presented for us, and rose to give us life. Uh, recently at assembly, a fifth grader uh, recited John 10.10 10 for us. I um, have come that they may have life and have it to the full or have it abundantly. And that is the gift that these kids are, are sharing with us today. So um, I just want to say that that's the message of Christmas. And... It, I hope you have been encouraged by this, and we're really thankful, as Mr. Griffith said, for this opportunity to be here in person. I was getting a little emotional watching. This is our first time in person since 2019. So can we just put a praise for that? It's beautiful. We love your families. We're really thankful for you being here. We love your children, and thank you for entrusting um, them to us, and I just pray that you'll enjoy the rest of the program.
Mr. Gelati, you can give him a round of applause. That's, that's, that's appropriate. This is uh, Mr. Gelati's first year with us. He's our new instrumental instructor, and he'll be conducting the orchestras this evening. Uh, and earlier tonight, he conducted some beautiful recorder playing by our fourth graders. Uh, just a few things here as we dive in. I wanted to say thank you to all of the teachers. Maybe the students can help me thank all the teachers that are sitting around, giving their time to be here, uh, enjoying the, the concert, and also sitting amongst the students to, to, to help everything go smoothly tonight. Um, can, can we thank the teachers? And then, as we're getting started here, I just wanted to give you a moment to, if you're not already using your cell phone to make a video, uh, then um, if you could just make sure your ringer is turned off and you're not going to get noisy notifications or that your child isn't there with the audio up bothering the other people around if they're playing something to keep them distracted. Um, that would be a, a wonderful thing for our performers. We would appreciate that. And then the other thing um, also, is that this, this, this isn't um, quite the same as like a church service. We prefer if you can help it, if you can manage it, if you need to leave the room for any reason, if you could do it in between the performances and not in the middle of one of the performances, that will provide um, the, the, the folks around you who are wanting to see what's happening, uh, you know, without having distractions from that. So if you could stay in your seats during those things, and then if you need to go out for any reason, just wait in between the, the, the each selection, please. Um, and I think, did I forget anything? I probably did, but um, it's not written down, so let's just pray and ask for God's blessing over our evening together tonight. Heavenly Father, thank you so much that uh, the weather was just good enough that for us to all be here this evening, Lord. We are so grateful to finally have one of these Christmas concerts in person. Father, what a joyful time it is to come together to celebrate the birth of Jesus and what that means to us as believers, Lord. We are grateful for all that that entails, and uh, we ask that you would accept the performances tonight as worship and uh, that it would not just be entertaining, but that it would truly move hearts and uh, work into our souls this evening. Please uh, pour your blessing out on us this evening, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen.
baby! Yeah! I'm starving. Do you have any, like, snacks? I usually would, but... Uh, no, not really. Oh, yeah, that's all sure? stuff. Oh, yeah, that's, that's all. That's all. Yeah. Oh, all right. I am trying to figure out this speech thing for this coming Friday. And I am at a loss for words and what to exactly talk about. For the Christmas concert? Yeah. Um, I don't know about that. Yeah. Yeah, just a little bit. I mean, you all, you all are scholars, <laughs> right? Yeah, but I mean, I'm, I got basketball. Yeah. Like, you can I help have, me. I, mean, I give you all, all those snacks and you can't help me? <laughs> I don't know. I'm a little busy with senior stuff. Mm. So. You're a little busy? Yeah, no, you know just, how it is. Just, yeah. Come on and help me. I mean, like, 4.0? What about an A on the midterms? We, yeah. we would do it if I... Uh, those would be a negative. Oh. I can't give you a four point. Oh, no. What about Christmas cookies? You can yeah, give Christmas cookies. Christmas cookies, cookies, cookies you know so. I'm the snack guy. Well, yeah, I can yeah, definitely yeah. get you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, help okay, me yeah, out. Right, help me so out. We'll help you. We'll help you. Okay. okay.
is being respectful, right? The base word, root word for respectful is respect. <laughs> and so, when you yeah, open, just try. What? being respectful, and so in order to um, be respectful, you have to make sure that you are uh, first being No, it's okay, it's okay. Listen, we're gonna give you some tips on what you have to do, okay? Um, number one, know your stuff. You can't go in there talking, and you, you also need to know your people. You can't go in there talking and not knowing your audience. You have to entertain. Keep them entertained. Pretend the audience isn't there. You can't see me. You can't see me. Hey, they're just a bunch of indivisible people. You're just talking, and you got it. You got it, man. You got it. You got Three. Remember, you're loved. Everyone in this school loves you. You're the principal. You're not gonna disappoint us. It's gonna be okay, okay? Trust that we love you. Trust that you're gonna do great. You got it. Reassure yourself. You are your number one biggest enemy. Remember, if you tell yourself you can do it, you got it, man. All day.
So as I was saying earlier on, once you have the keys to life, the keys to life, um, the key. Boo, you can do better. You yeah, can do better. Stage. Yeah, off the stage. Oh, no. Make room. Make room. Um, um, some, wait, hold on. Ooh. Oh my God. Did it Larry? Oh. It's drug. What's going on? Oh, I just had this like, oh my. I had this dream that I was on the stage yeah. and I forgot what I was supposed to say. Okay. And then like there was a student and they were booing me. Ah. Can you imagine <laughs> me ah. being booed? And then not only that, I was booing myself. That's like, what that's in the that's world. world. Okay, that's so. What does this mean? I don't know what it uh, means, but uh, that's a deep meaning, man. I think we think that you might need. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> we oh. think you might need that.
And so we have been given, um, we, we've been given the, um, uh, the, um, uh, we've been given the keys. All right. That was a, that was a really good speech. Actually, that was like really great. That's what I would say if you weren't doing terrible. If you, you kept looking down at your paper, you didn't make eye contact with me once, you were sweating like a mess, your hair is a mess, body language is terrible, you try again next time. Let's go! Yeah! Let's go! Faster, faster, faster! She's still, 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 she's All right, man, you got it. That was really great.
Right, all right. Good evening, everyone. Oh, you can do better than that for me. Good evening, everyone. Oh, those must be the scholars of EVA. So I love it. I love it. And I really do appreciate those scholars who work with me um, and helping launch my career, my, um, my acting career. I'm glad you all were here to see me on the screen. If you have Tyler Perry's number in your phone by any chance and you're able to make contact with him, please let him know that I am a rising star, okay? <laughs> I am a rising, right? Yeah, they, see the EBA students, they know, they know. Parents, you don't know yet, but I, they know. All right, so I'm super duper excited. Thank you um, for, for letting me act. And um, to the, the keys that you saw in the film, um, that you all, this, this moment that you all have been waiting for. Oh, and I see a young man in the audience with a, um, with a Chicago Bears jersey uh, sweater. I love it. I love it. It's you and me, you and me. I just had to say that. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Super duper excited, but I just had to acknowledge that. Um, but the keys, the keys are in my hand, and um, I have a lot of keys that are on this um, this ring, or two rings, or three rings that I have. I think maybe four or five. I have several keys on this um, on these keychains, but really, I I only need um, probably I want to say three. Three of these keys. Three out of all of the keys on this keychain or these keychains, key rings, are, is, is all that I need. There's, there's my car key, right? Um, the biggest key that is on my key ring, which is um, for my nice um, truck that I love, that I own and I love to drive, that's that. And then I have uh, this key here, which is the key to my office here at Eastbrook Academy. And it gets me not only into my office, but through other doors and, and so forth. And then I have um, the, key, the key to my house, right? And, and the commonality between all three of these important keys is this, that they unlock the door for me to step into something or somewhere. Unlock, helps me unlock the door, right? Unlock the door to my truck, unlock the door to my, uh, to my office here, and to get through other doors throughout the building, and then the key to my house um, to get, obviously, into my house, right? And so those are the, the three most um, important keys as far as getting uh, inside of something or somewhere, right? Let me help make the connection here. There's a key that I, that, that I can't hold on these key rings. There's a key that I can't place on the key rings. It's, it's a key that's more important than my truck key. Uh, it's a key that's more important than my office key. And it's a key that's way more important than my, than my house key. It's the key to everlasting life. It's the key to everlasting life. It's the key to everlasting life. In Matthew chapter 1, verse 21, here's what it says. And we've been talking about this in our Wednesday worship on Wednesdays, starting at about 830, that everyone is invited to. Our students come, our teachers come, but parents, we invite you as well to come out. Our next one is Wednesday, January 4th, so please come out. But the most important key is the key to eternal life, and how do we obtain that key? In Matthew chapter 1, verse 21, here's what it says. Uh, there's an angel who is talking to um, Joseph, appeared to him and a dream. And the angel tells Joseph this, she will bear a son and you shall call him. You are to name him Jesus for he will save his people from their sins. You're trying to figure out 
life and how to get beyond the doors in this world that you can see with your physical eye. You're trying to figure it out. Some of us are having some troubles and some challenges in our life, be it with family members. Don't look at them. They might be sitting next to you. With family members or friends, don't look behind you. It could be your neighbor, right? Some of us may have, be having some challenges in our life financially. Um, you wishing that you did have Tyler Perry's number in your phone so you can call him up and tell him what you want, right? <laughs> I know, me too. But Jesus is the answer. She will bear a son, and you shall call him Jesus, for he will save them from their sins. And that's what this season is all about. It's about this baby that came and was placed in a manger. And the keys of life was all wrapped up in this one baby called Jesus. And he is the reason, the true reason for this season. I know many of you will be gathering around the Christmas tree. Your kids will be excited, not just the young ones, but the older ones too in their 20s and 30s and 40s. They will be ex extremely excited to unwrap the gifts and to, to jump up and down and be so excited. And then those gifts will, will, will perish. They will, they will some, I got four little, four kids, right? And they open the gifts and then it's just like, it was like the excitement was in opening the gifts and throwing them aside. And then a month later, they can't find it. Right? But I'm talking about this gift who will find you when you're in your darkest and deepest places in life. I'm talking about this son that would be born and would be named Jesus because he would save his people from their sins. And maybe you're under the sound of my voice and you have no idea. You came here to see your child perform on the stage. But I want you to imagine in your mind the biggest performance that, that you have ever seen in your life. This, this baby that was placed in a manger who was named Jesus because he came into this world, not so that you can get tr uh, gifts under the tree, but as the gift to be unwrapped and for you to accept into your heart. Here's what the scripture says. For God so loved the world, chapter, John chapter 3, verse 16, that he gave his one and only son that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Romans chapter 10, verse 9 says this. Whosoever shall call upon, if you confess with your mouth, I'm sorry, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. Romans chapter 10, verse 13 says this. Whosoever, it's all inclusive. It doesn't matter what your socioeconomic background is. It doesn't matter what your color is. It doesn't matter where you're from. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. She shall bear a son, and you shall call him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. I'm going to invite everyone to close their eyes and to bow their heads. And in the quietness of your heart, here's what it is. And I, and I know we got some folk in here that may, like, you're not digging this, you're not with this, and that's okay. God is okay with, with, with that. I'm okay with that. But I, know, I want you to know that Jesus came into this world to pay a price, to pay a penalty. You shall call him Jesus, for he will save them from their sins. The penalty that he came to pay when he died on a cross was for your sins. And if you don't know Jesus in the pardon of, of your sins, meaning you've never accepted him perhaps in, the, in your heart for real, for real, for real, then here's your moment. Here's what you got to do. Just Call on his name. Here's what you can say if you don't know what to say. Lord Jesus, I am a sinner in need of a Savior. Come and save me and fill me with your spirit. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. It's as simple as that. Thank you so much for your time.
We have individuals here. If you loving on Eastbrook as Eastbrook is loving on you, we can definitely use not your, uh, your giving or your financial assistance, but your investment and who we are and what we're doing, which is proclaiming the name of Jesus. There's a QR code on the screen. If you would like to invest in what you're seeing here on the stage, you can use your phone, scan that QR code, and give to our school, our mission, invest in our mission. If not, we have people that will be coming um, coming with some, some pans uh, so that you can give, drop a quarter, drop a dollar, drop two dollars, drop three dollars. If you are an undercover boss. You all saw that show, right? If you are an undercover boss and you got that, that money, you could drop it in the basket as well. All right? If you do know Tyler Perry, tell him EBA can use his donations. All right? So we got people who are passing the plate. Feel free to drop. There's no pressure or anything of, like that you can give as you desire. Again, QR code. And then also there's EBA Popcorn Pop Shop. There was a link sent out, emailed out. Um, and so if you are interested in purchasing some popcorn again, investing in the mission of Eastbrook Academy, please check your email. There's a link that has been um, sent to you, to everyone in the room. So check your email, click on that link, and then follow the instructions from there. Thank you all so much for your investment. Thank you for coming out in this cold and in the snow. Thank you for supporting our school. Thank you for ultimately supporting our children. Let's give it up for our EVA community. Wow. We're really good. That I'm really great. Really proud yeah. of that. I appreciate yeah. you all and all of your help. Oh, like yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're, I couldn't have done it without you all. Oh, yeah. You're going to do yeah. great. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, I appreciate that. Um, where, are the, where are the cookies? Yeah, so the reward. Like, where? Oh, you got to be playing Christmas cookies. The, the cookies that you promised. No, I thought y'all were just helping me. I don't remember anything about the word. Mr. Larry. That's the no, like, name. Yes, kid! Yes, yes, kid! 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 Yes, kid!
grab the wrong one. Once again, uh, thank you so much for coming, and uh, we hope you have a very safe uh, ride home. There are probably still bake sale items out there. The bake sale items are uh, going to support the uh, high school choir. This choir right here is going to a, um, to a competition in Chicago later this year, and we could use your support. Yes. And uh, so the money that is coming in through the uh, bake sale is going to go toward uh, helping them afford that trip uh, in, in April. So once again, thanks for coming. Have a wonderful night and Merry Christmas. Be Rut Pro.